So before I get started today, I just want to acknowledge um, my colleague and friend, um, Ginny Brixey from the Native American Youth and Family Center, who's been uh, a, an amazing partner through this whole entire event. The art of food preservation and its many different forms has been around since time immemorial. Part of my work um, at OSU has been serving as a food preservation specialist for over 20 years, but 30 some years before that, it was my grandma and my big sister who taught me how to garden and gather and, and such. Berries are absolutely my favorite. Um, we'd get them everywhere, salal from the mountains and huckleberry, or salal from the coast, excuse me, uh, huckleberries from the mountains. And my grandma and sister also taught me to, to be kind and to share and to share what I know. And I'm always thankful uh, for that. Um, there's many steps to preservation. Um, you'll see in the middle picture here of pemmican, this is only one step in food um, preservation. Um, Food preservation can do many things. It helps us to reduce waste, loss, helps us to eat healthier, and um, we can also store extras for when food is not plentiful. Modern equipment, of course, can be really expensive, and this keeps access for a lot of folks um, at completely out of reach. But if individuals are teaching techniques that require um, equipment most of our partners can't afford and use, then it's really not very inclusive. <laughs> Um, so my community partners wanted and needed um, uh, preservation equipment and to learn how to use it safely, um, and especially the pressure canners. There's so many stories about um, them exploding, and you know, and that is a real fear um, that just keeps people away from wanting to learn some of these um, things. Um, but you know, also learning the type of different foods and the pH of foods that go along with each of the different uh, pieces of equipment is really important. Um, knowing this can help to decrease the risk of um, neurotoxins such as Clostridium botulinum and then other forms of uh, food spoilage. Um, instruction manuals can be incredibly um, cumbersome. So we created um, uh, user-friendly ones that um, for each piece of equipment that go along into the um, preservation equipment library, um, we added um, uh, care and handling tutorials. Um, then with community input, we created publications to spotlight the beauty of some of these um, foods like dandelions and, and stingy nettles. And then also there's a free canner timer uh, checklist that um, you can download and it will uh, goes through every single step for, for us. Um, in, my, in my classes, um, I always teach that, um, that there's so many different ways to preserve and uh, ways uh, to, uh, if you don't have those pieces of equipment. What we found th through our grant was the average cost of one preservation library is about $3,800. That's with the cabinet. Um, but each of our partners were so very different and had different needs. Um, one needed more bone saws and um, somebody else needed um, uh, something, uh, Equipment for more medicine making is uh, definitely what some of our other partners needed. Uh, these next few, few slides, next few slides, are comments from my partners. Um, from Nea, they shared we address health disparities and the social determinants of health by walking alongside our community in reclaiming and remembering traditional ways of moving, eating, and being ways that have supported the health and wellness of our ancestors since time immemorial. Among many supports, they provide trauma-informed health education, navigation of services, advocacy, and opportunity for connection to culture and each other. We believe deeply that culture is medicine. Learning to use the equipment helped our uh, community health workers to build their confidence, which increases their capacity to better serve. We've used some of the equipment to infuse traditional foods and medicines into our community giveaways and at our many COVID testing vaccination events. And then the Seven Waters Canoe Family Director, uh, Lucas Angus, shared that the library gives us opportunities to expand our knowledge and take care of abundant harvested foods rather than it going to waste. There's many issues surrounding food in our community and especially in the urban area. Knowledge access are major issues 
that we get to help address. The preservation workshop helps to helps our community um, to learn new uh, food preservation vocabulary, proper methods, and to broaden the abilities of individuals who are seed saving, growing, raising, and processing food in our community as tribes and indigenous people reclaim their traditional foods. Um, Women's Wellness Garden, uh, Director Roberta Eagle Horse um, shared, uh, demystifying food preservation gives us an increased sense of autonomy and pride in how we share, care, share and care for ourselves and our families. The traditional ecological knowledge of our first foods is a spiritual component. We've created a fun and engaging space with indigenous providers. Our young families are learning to preserve. Um, she teaches us many brain games, reaching out collectively, healing mind, body, and spirit. This helps to increase our self-reliance and stronger connections and pride. Many native gardeners uh, and farmers and producers um, struggle financially. Um, for some, food preservation certification can be a step towards value-added products. Um, we're working on making training much more accessible to all so everybody has access to this, has the ability to do this. And of course, nothing's fixed overnight, um, but this grant funding has made an impactful um, change with um, our partners in our community. And um, with help from our community health workers, uh, we know that we'll see those changes. Thank you.